Hello and welcome to this video solution of Numerid. So here it's given that a worker wants to turn over a uniform 1250 Newton rectangular crate by pulling it at an angle of 53 degrees on one of its vertical side. The floor is rough enough to prevent the crate from slipping. Right. Now what pull is needed to just start the crate to tip? Now what you can do is let's say I take this force to be F right and you take need to balance the moment about the point let's say O right here you have got two force one is this force F acting um, act at an angle of 53 degrees with the vertical and there will be the weight of the crate right that is 1250 Newton acting right from the center right so if you take the moment about O or summation of moment about O and equate it to zero you will ha be having this is F uh, sine 53 that is the component of this force uh, this one right this f sine 53 degrees right times this distance of 1.5 that should balance the weight right uh, the moment due to weight which is 1250 times this 2.2 .2 by 2 right this one distance from here to here and clearly from here you will be having f to be equal to 1.15 times of 10 to the power of 3 newton right is a force f uh, this is required to tip the crate now how hard does the flow push upward on the crate right now this is pretty simple so here you will be having the component of this force i take on the vertical component which is f cos of 53 degrees the weight is acting downwards there will be the normal reaction n right so based on this you will be having the normal reaction n to be equal to uh, w plus f cos of 53 degrees right and this is uh, 1250 plus 1.15 times of 10 to the power of 3 cos 53 degrees right and this will come out to be around uh, 1.94 times 10 cube right Newton so there's a normal reaction now now uh, C you have to find the frictional force on the crate C so the frictional force FR will be equal to F sine 53 degrees because this is the horizontal force right and this force has to balance the friction on the opposite side and if you evaluate this uh, then it will be around 980 Newton right you need to plug in f to be equal to 1.15 times 10, 10 to the power of 3 and finally d is uh, the coefficient of static friction right mu which is equal to the frictional force over the normal reaction right so it's 918 over this is 1.94 times 10 cube right and this is 0.473 i hope this is clear to you and have a very good rest of the day thank you